Good evening, it's Monday evening, Monday the 29th, I think. Is it the 29th? It is. Yep, bank holiday Monday. I've been at Mum's again. And uh, I did exactly what I said I would do. I've, well, I've got most of the Apollo suspension bike done. I say most because the gears have been an absolute pain in the fucking ass. I'm just sign into this. As you can probably tell, I upgraded this to Windows 10 today. And it's actually working a bit better. Firefox seems to be more stable on Windows 10 anyway. Yeah, so, yeah, it's working all right. That's not supposed to be changing that fast. Anyway, this is the box of bits I took out this morning and I've sort of filled it. <laughs> this, I didn't realise I actually had. <laughs> um on a or was on a bike frame that Mr. Biggles gave me I didn't think it actually had the um, three speed shifter still attached to the handlebar but I was just I was actually looking for something else and I thought I'd uh, just double check the handlebar and there it is so that saved me a job going in the shed tomorrow I shouldn't need to I don't think um, a bunch of cars as well there's also some Lego kicking around in there, but um, one of the holy grails of the Lego world is one of these. This piece alone, I know it doesn't look like it's worth much, you know, it's just a lump of plastic. It's worth anywhere between £10 and over £20. I've actually seen one in Germany which would cost me about £26. And uh, I do have sets that need it. That police station has got it. That's actually 100% complete. Now, some people would probably sell it, but I'm not going to sell it because I've got two sets that need it. And I believe this police station needs it. And that house on the back here that can't actually be seen that well needs it. So. That antenna is probably going to go on the house. But uh, yeah, they are an expensive part to far buy. They are rare. In fact, at least under the search words I used, which was just Lego TV antenna, I only found three on eBay in the UK. That's how hard to find them poxy things are. Yeah, I've got some random vehicles in here. I love how some... I can't remember what part of America it is, but I always call it a vehicle. <laughs> yeah, some of these um, cars have seen better day, days. That's a Cougar Dragster, made in England, 1970. Biggles took out the ones he wanted for eBay, and I just took the rest, basically. And the Lego. There's this, I'm not sure what this is. It used to have hydraulic, or, you know, replica hydraulic bits on it. Dumper, maybe? Big dump truck? Who makes it? It's made in England by Lesney. It's a bit of a clean, I can't read it. There's several others. Little corgi whiz wheels. At first glance, I thought that was Matchbox, because they made one of these as well. Where is it? Lotus Europa. This one's not in too bad a condition. I'm surprised he didn't keep that, actually. What is it? It's a 1972, made in England. Maserati... Bora? I think that says. Yeah, I'm sure that's a B. 
They'll be pretty awkward to read sometimes. We've got this one. It's got broken window on the side there, but what's that one? That's a Datsun 128X, made in England, 1973. That one. It's always liked about these. Always gave you the date of manufacture on the bottom. Got a couple of these. I've already got at least one, but uh, I will keep, them. especially that one, because that's actually got half decent. Red Cross stickers on them. Most of the time they wear off. And they're keepers, or at least one will be. Uh, they go, they go, they go. There's bike bits and tools in the bottom. There's big old Corgi Mercedes. It's got a nice big bit of blue fluff in there. Does it Does that look bent? Got a headlamp missing. It's pretty cool. You still don't uh, make cars like this. But ones in good condition would uh, be a tad expensive on eBay. I've got another large corgi like that. There it is. Buick Regal. Now, I can't remember what TV show this was from. There's no driver for some reason. I don't know where the driver's gone. Was that door open? Oh, the door does open. Maybe the driver fell out then. And why is there a piece of plastic? I don't think that's meant to be in it anyway. It's not in bad condition. Not perfect, but it's still not in bad condition either. So I'm definitely going to keep that one. It's a pity that didn't have the glass in it, otherwise that would have been a definite keeper. Uh. You know, it's just a bunch of shit, really, oh, apart from this one. It's another one I'm surprised he didn't keep, because that is in excellent condition. But I like fire engines, so that stays as well. Uh, little BMW from Majorette, an old one. That'll be a keeper, because I do like my Majorettes. They're a French company, and they do do some quality um, cars. It's actually a pillarless. It's got no B pillar. It's a BMW 3 litre. I swear that. Yeah. CSI. Got 3.0, so I presume that's 3 litre. Mm. See, I love old BMWs like that. I'm not keen on the modern ones. And I know I usually like to slate and take the piss out of BMW drivers for being the worst drivers out there, but for a change today, um, when I was on my way to Mum's, it was actually in fairly good condition for a Golf. The other ones I've got of this are um, shit compared to that. Yeah, anyway, on our way to Mum's today, we got stuck behind a BMW sticking to the speed limit. So, um, there is, uh, more decent BMW drivers out there than I give them credit for, <laughs> to be honest. I just like to pick on them. I was standing one evening outside Lidl's waiting for Mum, as she was, uh, wanting to go to Lidl's after work, and, uh, a number of BMWs came past, and they were all driving sensibly, so... Oh. Oh, that's an... <gasps> Oh, what? No. It's a Hot Wheels Red Lines, and it's a vintage one. Ah, oh, man. If the front wheels weren't broken, that would have been worth a few quid. Ah, oh, that's pissed me off. Might still get a few quid for it now, but not as much as it would have been. Oh, well. Just some random crap. That's the third one of these I've got now. I could start a fleet of tow trucks. <laughs> Can't remember. Does it give you the make of truck? The bloody wheels and everything are shadowing it. I can't. That's a Ford. 
that's an American Ford from the look of it. I was thinking Ford A series, which was like the bigger brother to the Mark II Ford Transit, but uh, no, wrong nose on it for an A series. And unfortunately, I've, <laughs> I've got a dinky Mark One Ford Transit van, police Ford Transit van, but it's uh, in quite a sorry state. Uh, I mean, I could go on eBay and uh, buy another one in similar state and uh, make a good one out of the two. But, uh, yeah, this one's... <laughs> poor thing has seen better days. It's got a complete door missing at the back. The hinge is still there. So you could, if you were good enough, solder it back on, a door back on. Um, it needs the glass. It needs repainting. It'll need new decals. And it would need new wheels. Hmm. And let's see how much shitty ones go for on eBay. I've already got one of these as well. Not two now. <laughs> Volkswagen K70. See, again, I like old Volkswagens like this. I just like older cars. I'm, I really can't get excited about modern cars. Yeah, there's some nice looking ones. But, uh, still, I can't get... I just can't get excited over a lot of modern ones. What the... Well, it's lost both its doors, so it's got air conditioning. What is it? A Volkswagen... 1600 TL? Made in England, Lesney products. Does this one give a year? No, it doesn't. But looking at that type of chassis and those wheels, this is later 70s. Uh, I There's two of these, which I presume to be a logging truck with that bracket thing on there. They're not in bad condition. Scammel Contractor. Oh, it's a Scammel. Oh. I could have swore that was American looking at that. Not a, you know, like a Mac or something. Not a... A Scammel. 1971. Yeah, there's another one of those in there. There it is. Another one. <laughs> hmm. I don't know if they're worth anything on eBay. Let me just get that thing out of the way. Uh, how about a vintage double A battery? Look at this. Powder has leaked at the end there, but it's an old Ever Ready high power battery HP7. You know what? People sell these on eBay. I have seen these for sale. Um, uh, definitely ain't gonna work. Not sure what I'm gonna do with that. Bin it probably is another one that someone's painted all over. What is it? 1971. A mod rod. That's what that's called. A mod rod. I've got a thing for the 70s Matchbox cars as well. I do like to collect those. What's this one? 1971. Very dirty. Volkswagen Bug. Barger Bug, maybe, from the back? I can't remember. But again, some turnip is painted all over it. You've done it again, haven't you? Yep. Oh! Knocked a different truck off this time. You've knocked my um, thingy truck off. Flatbed lorry, someone's pulled the wheels off. Apart from the front two. The old, uh, old American truck. We've got... No. Just says wildlife truck. 
don't know. Is any Americans that watch me able to uh, ID it? Ford, maybe? I'm thinking Ford. Ford or Chevy? Oh, it's a Ford. It's got Ford written on the back. <laughs> Ford in big bloody letters written right across that tailgate. I don't think it's going to show up on the camera. Well, let's answer that question then. It's a Ford of some sort. But yeah, if anyone actually knows what Ford that is, please let me know. Because I have no idea. Yeah. I think I've got another one of these. Actually, I'm pretty certain I have. Uh, what else have we got? I've got what remains of a cement truck. <laughs> and if you're wondering why I kept that, because it's got a good set of front wheels on it, and I know I've got a couple of vehicles that need wheels. So I just kept it for the wheels. There's a couple of matchbox planes in here. This one's actually in damn good condition. I wonder what I'm doing. I'm trying to get it in the right light so I can actually read it. 1973, I think, or it could be 78. Something like that. 1970-something, anyway. Does it tell me what it is? I've got the cat getting his head in the way as well. No, I'm going to have to get the uh, magnifier out to see that. What about the other one? Not this one, this one looked like a fairly old one as well. Here yeah, it is, I can tell from the wheels. Matchbox. Made in England. It's a 385 Starfighter. An F, something or other I can't see. That's 1973 as well. Ah, so that one will be 73. I like this one. Not usually one for planes, but I did like those. Majorette Caravan. We do some caravan racing. <laughs> There's a few bits of Lego in there. Then it's just mainly just the bike parts. I've got no idea why I kept that. A dinky racer there as well. What the Big plastic Volkswagen. Made in m m m uh, somewhere beginning with m. It's a pullback, I think. Is it? No, that's just one of those where you just keep pushing it to get speed up and then let it go. Right, well that's it. Get off the laptop. You want all the friggin' buttons, you tit. You bloody tit. Oh. I've got the gears to sort out on that stupid bike. The derailleur is pretty much fucked. It's twisted. And the free wheel I stuck on the wheel isn't a lot of good either, so... I'll change all that tomorrow. My friend can't believe that the TV antenna is actually worth that much. Just that one little piece. Yep. My brother asked me if I was going to sell it, and I was like, no, I've got two sets that need one, so I'm actually glad I got one for free. <clears throat> that means I haven't got the fork out for it. Right, so tomorrow, I'm actually going to drop a friend of mine a message on Facebook, because uh, I want to get that girl's, or that lady's bike done this week. I've got the wheels in, I've just got to hope they'll hold air, because I don't feel like fixing punctures. Um, really, to get it in working order, all I've got to do is throw the three-speed gear shifter on and cable, which i got here, and uh, pump the tyres up. And that is it. <laughs> it's got a rear baggage rack on. Which I know she wanted. Um, she, apparently, she just prefers the three speeds to the mountain bike, so. Uh, I'm actually just thinking, you know, straight swap. I'm gonna, I wasn't going to, but I will replace the handlebar. And if I'd thought of it, I'd have brought the handlebar that I pinched that three speed off of. 
um, with me because that's a decent handlebar. I might have one in the shed that I can put on it. Uh, not the shed, the outside closet. I hope. Um, pretty certain I've got something out there, haven't you? Anyway. Because the one on it is rusty as hell. I, don't I can't change the handlebar stem. I don't have anything better. If I have, it's at Mum's. Oh, that is one arse about having bike parts in two different places. So I guarantee if I don't have it here, I'll have it at Mum's. And when I want it here, it'll be at Mum's. And if I'm at Mum's doing something, the bits I want are going to be here. So, I can't win. <laughs> Uh, shouldn't take me too long to do that mountain bike tomorrow. They're locked up downstairs, so I can't show you. Because I ha really haven't got the room up here. And I've got two bikes out front to do for friends. Uh, so I'm going to aim to get them all done this week. Uh... And uh, Cat's Custom Trikes has got some bike bits for me to pick up, and she wants them gone a, you know, as soon as possible. Um, the only problem I've got is, as I rely on a lift, and Mum works, it's a little bit tricky. Um, but I'll aim to do that this week as well. So if I get her racing bike done, I can drop that off at the same time. Uh, if I actually take my bike... I could hang around for a bit as well and bike home later. Uh, what else did I bring on? Oh, three tyres and two inner tubes. I pumped up two inner tubes to see if they would go flat and they didn't. So, my Rally Max, the green one, I've got a replacement front tyre because the one I put on there is actually crap. And it's got a slow puncture anyway, which is why I bought the inner tubes back. So, I can sort that out maybe tomorrow. Uh, and I bought two um, mountain bike sized road tires back because I'm going to set them up on a set of wheels um, those wheels I wanted to put in my grey claude I haven't done it yet because um, I noticed the front wheel's got a slight buckle in it but then I remembered it's got disc brakes anyway <laughs> um, so really, it shouldn't be enough to affect the bike. The only way I can find out is to fit the wheel and go for a ride. If it makes the front end too wobbly, then of course I can't use the wheel. But uh, I could straighten it. It's awkward, but I could straighten it if I need to. Uh, so I was going to put the road tyres on those wheels and have two sets of wheels for the grey floor. One with knobblies on, so I can go off-roading, and one for road use, because I prefer road tyres on the road. I get a lot more speed up, and it's a lot less effort to ride. Yeah, so, plenty to do. So I may end up going in the shed tomorrow anyway. Uh, I mean that lady's bike, that's not going to take me long to do, so long as the wheels aren't the tyres don't have punctures. It's going to take me I don't know, about 10 minutes to fit that. I was actually going to take the cable off, but then I thought, well, why do I need to do that when I can just leave the cable on and fit the whole thing? Because there's no cable on that bike either. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's going to make life a lot easier. That's why I left the cable on. I just figured I'd use the whole unit, so to speak. Because it can be a bit fiddly. To get a bloody cable in there. God, the light's crap. There's no Stormy Archer sticker either, but that don't matter. But, uh, I, will ch I wasn't going to, but I will change the handlebar because uh, I want to get it looking as uh, respectable as I can. Now, I don't want to swap a rusty bag of shit for uh, a mountain bike. <laughs> that's just not, that's not going to be fair on them. So uh, I will get it ready. Uh, the brake calipers will have to come off and need to be changed. 
or cleaned. We'll see if they'll clean up because they're rusty as well. Um, but they work. They do work fine. Uh, it's got mud guards. The only thing I'd have to do is possibly fit lights and the front basket from her other bike to this one which I should be able to do a piece of cake. Shouldn't be an issue. Um, if I can get her basket to fit on the built-in bracket. Some rally bikes had a basket bracket built into the bike. It was welded to the bike. And this one's got one. Uh, so hopefully I can uh, slide it straight onto that. I hope. If not, I'll think of something. I'll think of some way to fit the basket on. I don't think Biggles has got anything like that now. <laughs> and that guy that was interested in all his vintage bike parts has now decided he doesn't want it. So he's been listing small job lots of bits up on eBay, which I don't blame him really. Mm -hmm. You reckon they've been selling like hotcakes? Well, that doesn't surprise me either. Right. I'm going to turn the camera off because I'm rambling again. And uh, I should see Mum at some point tomorrow as well. And I've got those pedals to pack and post. I must do that tomorrow. See if Mum will uh, get me a few bits for the freezer. I really want a bag of sausages. Perhaps a loaf of bread. Because she owes me anyway. <laughs> About ten. I think it's ten she owes me. Um... She'll just give me the tenner if she wants. <laughs> Alright, I'm rambling again, so... Uh, thanks for watching, and... Uh, I'll talk to you again at some point tomorrow. Probably tomorrow evening. So, yeah, it'll be tomorrow evening, I expect. So, uh, see you then. Bye-bye.